What we've been working on is um, course redesign. It started out with a single course and now we're looking at all the core courses in our Master of Teacher Leadership program. Looking at outcomes from online learning is really critically important because it hasn't been done, especially in online learning. So we're trying to get outcome data that will both um, support the, the, the way we're going about doing this, the design-based research we're doing, and at the same time the Community of Inquiry Framework. The Community of Inquiry Framework is a model of online learning. It's one of the few that exists and it's a process model, meaning it looks at the processes of learning that go on online. Online courses are, are new. We didn't grow up uh, watching great online teachers. We, we have to figure out how to teach well online without what Lordy called the apprenticeship of observation. And uh, we have to do that by being guided by principles and theories of good quality and, uh, instruction. First of all, we find that we're doing something as well. We like that. But we do find uh, some changes that, uh, that need to be made uh, with our first Quality Matters reviews that we began a couple of years ago. We found that there were many good things in our courses, but we uh, in particular found we could put up some more specific uh, learning objectives in ways that students could see and understand and we've added those to our courses. We're getting very good at uh, knowing what to do and how to do it and the platforms that we run our online courses are, are enabling us to do a lot more things. So for example, uh, behind me you see my course. I have blogs, I have a wiki, I have journaling with my students and it's all um, put into one place. It's not something I could do very easily in a face-to-face -face course. With our online classes we have students from uh, not just near central Illinois but from uh, urban areas and from other states and sometimes other countries taking our courses and, uh, and we see ways that uh, that helps to strengthen the courses by getting that diversity of viewpoints in there. There's two things about this which I think are, uh, this research we're doing, which are unique. The first is that it involves um, almost all the faculty who teach in the MTL program. And we're working together. There's no hierarchy, there's no, um, th th there's no boss. And it's very nice because we're learning more about our own courses by looking at our colleagues' courses. And the research is, uh, our teaching and the research is improved by this kind of collaboration. The other uh, thing that's unique about it is it's, it's a form of research called design-based research. That is, we're not necessarily testing a hypothesis. We're collecting data every semester and using that data to um, dictate what we're going to do with our courses in the next semester. And it's also important for us as education professors because it's, uh, it, it, it's changes things and we like to study change and try to explain change in our research and uh, there's probably been no more dramatic change in how education has been done in higher education uh, than the online efforts that are going on. Almost all the growth in higher education has to do with online learning. There's now six million students in higher education taking at least one on online course and that's about a third of all students in higher ed. Uh, here at Springfield, it's way bigger than that, but uh, nationwide, it's, it just continues to grow, whereas face-to-face uh, -face learning in higher ed is quite flat.